Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math. Today we're going to learn about finding slopes from an equation when we find the slope of each line. So if I was given this equation, y equals negative 5 halves x minus 5. Well the key here is I want to see if I can get it into what we call a slope-intercept form, that form that's right there. Then we can identify the slope. So our slope here is right what's right in front of x, our m value. Since we have this in slope-intercept form, it's pretty easy. Our slope is written right in front of our x. It's a coefficient of x, and that is m equals a negative 5 halves right there. That first that value that's right here, we can isolate. That is our slope, and that's the slope of our line given up here. So that's it, that's our final answer. Our slope is negative 5 halves. Y equals a negative 4 thirds X minus 1. Okay? Well, if I was given this equation here and I wanted to find the slope from it, I notice it's already in my slope-intercept form. Here's our slope and there's our intercept. The key part is the slope, the coefficient that's in front of X. That is actually going to be our slope for our whole equation. So I'm going to write it down here, negative 4 thirds, and that is our final answer. It's right there, pretty simple. Once we can identify the coefficient in front of x and it's in our form, it looks like this, our slope-intercept form, y equals m, x plus b, and our m value is our slope, and so our final answer is negative 4 thirds. y equals negative x plus 3. Okay? This one's semi-tricky here. We first want to see if we can get it into our slope-intercept form, and it is. It's our y equals our mx plus b. The key is identifying what the m value is, and be careful. We see a negative out front. So many students will write oh, our slope, m equals a negative x. That's incorrect. What we can see is that there's an imaginary 1 in front of x. So when we see a, a, a letter by itself, we imagine there's an imaginary 1 that's written in front, but we don't always write that because it would be silly. It's like writing like, oh, we have... 1x when we already see 1x there. So the proper proper way to write it. So really what this looks like is y equals a negative 1 times x plus 3. And that's where we have our m value. Now we can easily more easily see our m value by itself isolated. And so we have our slope here of m equals a negative 1. And that's it. y equals a negative 4x minus 1. Well, we notice that it's already in our slope-intercept form. We don't need to simplify it anymore. So we have y equals a negative 4x minus 1 is y equals mx plus b. So we first, or now we need to find our m value, which is our slope. Well, negative 4 right there, we can see is a coefficient in front of x. And so that is our slope value. So we have m equals negative 4. And so now our slope is just a negative 4. And that's it. 2x minus y equals 1. <clears throat> so my goal here, when I see this equation, is I need to get y isolated. I need to have it in my slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So to isolate y by itself, my first step would be to subtract a 2x to both sides. So now we have a negative y equals a negative 2x plus 1. Okay? Well, I need to get rid of that negative because we want y by itself, not negative y by itself. So to do that, I'm going to multiply both sides by a negative 1. Okay? By multiplying the left-hand side by negative 1, I'm left with y by itself. And the right-hand side, I need to distribute this negative 1 to both parts. Negative 1 times negative 2x is a positive 2x. And negative 1 times 1 is a negative 1. So that can be plus a negative 1 if you want, or minus 1. really won't matter anymore, because now we have it into our slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. Y is isolated, we have it right here. So now we need to identify our m value, which is the coefficient in front of x, which is a 2. And there we have it. Our final answer, m equals 2, and that's our slope. x plus 2y is equal to negative 8. Well, I need to isolate y, get y by itself, so I can see if it's in the y equals mx plus b form. So to do that, I've got to subtract an x to both sides. 
And we have 2y here equals, let's put x first, negative x minus 8. Okay? So now we have 2y equals negative x minus 8. My last step to get x by itself is divide by 2 to both sides, or y by itself to divide by 2 to both sides. So divide by 2 like this. Okay? Now it's tricky. y is isolated, which is fantastic, but I need to distribute that 2 to both parts, right? So we have a negative, well, there's an imaginary 1 in front of x, so we have a negative 1 half x right here, minus 8 divided by 2, which is 4. Okay, so we have y equals a negative one half x minus four right there. Okay, so now we have our slope intercept form. We can see that the m value is a negative one half. That's right in front of the x value right there. So we have m equals a negative one half. And that is our final answer, our slope. Eight x plus three y equals a negative nine. Okay, our goal here is to isolate the y. So to do that, I'm subtracting 8x to both sides first. So I subtract an 8x here. And that leaves me with the 3y on the left. And then let's put the 8x first, or the negative 8x first, negative 8x minus 9. Again, not like terms, can't combine them. Okay, so now we have 3y equals negative 8x minus 9. The 3 is the only thing causing this y not to be isolated. So let's go divide 3 to both sides. That leaves me with y by itself. And we distribute the 3 to both parts. Well, negative 8 divided by 3, can't simplify that fraction, so it's negative 8 thirds. So the x minus here, 9 divided by 3, which is just 3. So now we have y isolated. It's in our equations in y equals mx plus b form. What's the m value? Coefficient in front of x. So we have it right there, negative 8 thirds is a coefficient in front of x. And so our m value is negative 8 thirds. There we are. Our final answer, final slope, m equals a negative 8 thirds. 4x plus 5y equals a negative 10. Okay? Well, I need to isolate y by itself. So to do that, I'm going to subtract a 4x. Here's the problem there. 4x to both sides. It gives me 5y by itself on the left. And let's put negative 4x first, negative 4x minus 10. Not like terms, cannot combine them. So now we have 5y equals a negative 4x minus 10. Well, y is still not isolated, so I need to divide by 5 to both sides. <clears throat> Give me y by itself here, and now I need to distribute that 5 to both parts, the negative 4x to the negative 10. Well, 5 divided by negative, or negative 4x divided by 5, actually, is a negative 4 fifths, same thing, negative 4 fifths x, minus 10 divided by 5, which is 2. Okay, so now we have our equation y equals negative 4 fifths x minus 2. It's in our slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So now we gotta look what is the m value, and that's a negative 4 fifths. So my m is equal to a negative 4 fifths, and there we have our final answer and our final slope of a negative 4 fifths. x minus y equals a negative 2. Well, I need to isolate the y, get y by itself. So to do that, I first need to subtract an x to both sides. So subtract an x to both sides. x is limited on the left, give me a negative y on the left, and then a negative x right here, minus 2 on the right. Let's put the negative x first. And they're not like terms, cannot combine them. So now I need to get rid of that negative, because y is not officially isolated. So to do that, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. When I multiply both sides by negative 1, I'll get y by itself on the left is what I'm looking for. Now, let's distribute that negative 1 across to both parts. Negative 1 times negative x is a positive x, and a minus 2 times a negative 1 is the same thing as plus a 2. So now we have our slope-intercept form. y equals x plus 2. y equals mx plus 2. Now, don't miss it. m is what's in front of x. That's just a 1. So there's an imaginary 1 in front of x there. So we have m equals a 1 as our final answer. This equation, 4x minus 3y is equal to 9. Okay, so I have 4x minus 3y is equal to 9. I need to isolate the y. So to isolate the y, I subtract a 4x to both sides. When I subtract a 4x to both sides, I'm left with a negative 3y by itself on the left. 
Let's put the negative 4x first is equal to negative 4x plus 9. So now I need to divide by negative 3 to both sides to get y by itself. So you divide by negative 3. Eliminate the negative 3 is on the left, moving y by itself on the left. And on the right, I need to distribute that negative 3 to both parts. Negative 4x divided by negative 3 is a positive 4 thirds x. And then we have 9 divided by negative 3 is a negative 3. So we have minus 3 right there. Okay? So now we have our equation all by itself here. It's in our y equals mx plus b form, right? Slope intercept form. So we identify the slope, which is 4 thirds here. So our slope here is 4 thirds, and that is our final answer. 3x plus 2y is equal to 6. I need to isolate my y. To do that, I need to subtract by 3x to both sides. Give me a 2y on the left is equal to negative 3x plus 6 on the right. Then, to get y by itself, again, I divide by 2 to both sides. That gives me y isolated on the left. Now, this 2, I need to distribute to both parts. So, negative 3x and the plus 6. Negative 3x divided by 2 is just a negative 3 halves x. And then, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, we have y equals a negative 3 halves x plus 3. It is now in our slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b, right there. So, I need to find my m value, which is coefficient in front of x, isolate that, and so our m value is in negative 3 halves, and that is our final answer and our final slope. 4x minus 5y is equal to 0. Well, the key thing here is I need to isolate the y, get y by itself. So to do that, I'm subtracting 4x to both sides. And doing that, I'm left with negative 5y equals, well, negative 4x plus 0, which that plus 0, we don't really need to write. Don't really worry about that. So we just have negative 5y equals a negative 4x. So to get y by itself again, or fully by itself, I divide both sides by negative 5. y is now isolated by itself, and negative 4x divided by negative 5 is a positive 4 fifths x. So now we have our slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Plus b is just that 0. We could have left the 0 the whole way down, and then, you know, 0 divided by negative 5 is 0, so plus 0 there. But proper terminology, or proper way of writing it, we don't write it. We don't write that plus 0. So we have y equals a positive 4 fifths x. Our m value is that 4 fifths, the coefficient in front of x there. So our slope is 4 fifths. I'll write it here. And that is our final answer. y equals a negative 1. Well, by y equals a negative 1, is that really in our slope-intercept form? Yes, it is. It is. But we need to kind of figure some things out. Well, wouldn't this be the same as y equals 0 times x minus 1? Well, 0 times x is just 0. Right, so we really have y equals a negative 1 here. But we, that helps us see what our slope values, our coefficient in front of x, which is 0. Right? So once we see that, our coefficient is just 0. So m equals 0, and our slope here is going to be 0, and that's like a horizontal line right there. Okay? x plus 3 y equals a negative 15. Okay? Well, I want to get y by itself. So to do that, I first have to subtract an x to both sides. Give me 5y equals, well, negative x out front, minus 15. Okay? They're not like terms. We're not combining them. Well, now to keep uh, on the train here of getting uh, y by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 5. That leaves me with y equals, well, with 5 here, I need to distribute to both parts there. So we have a negative 1 fifth x minus 15 divided by 5, which is a 3. So negative x divided by 5 is the same thing as negative 1 fifth x, and 15 divided by 5 is that 3, and there's a minus sign in between. So now we have y equals negative 1 fifth x minus 3. That's in our slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. m is the important part here, which is the coefficient in front of x. So I can isolate that and write it down here of m equals a negative 1 fifth, and that is our final answer. 
negative 2y minus 10 plus 2x equals 0. Well, I need to isolate my y. I need to get y by itself. So to do that, I'm going to add a 10 to both sides. And I'm going to subtract the 2x of both sides. Okay? Kind of in both steps at once. That leaves me with a negative 2y on the left. And on the right hand, since it's all the 0, it's just negative 2x plus 10. Okay? On the right. Well, now to get y by itself, I need to divide by negative 2. So I divide by negative 2 to both parts. So we have y by itself here, right? Negative 2, y divided by negative 2 is just y. And I distribute the negative 2 to both parts, right? Both sides here, or both parts to the plus side. Negative 2x divided by negative 2 is a positive 1, so we just have an x there. And 10 divided by negative 2 is a negative 5. So we have y equals x minus 5. So what's our, uh, this is our slope-intercept form, y equals mx minus 5. What's our m value? The coefficient for an x, which is just that 1, that value that's right in front of x. So we have m equals a positive 1 there, and that is our final answer. x plus 5 plus y equals 0. So if x plus 5 plus y equals 0, I need to isolate the y. So to do that, I'm subtracting x to both sides, and I'm subtracting y to both sides. That leaves me with y isolated. 0 minus x is negative x, and then minus 5 is nothing there, so it's really minus 5. Okay, so we have y isolated now is equal to negative x minus 5. Well, I now have it in my slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Our m value is a coefficient in front of x, and we just see a negative out there. But we've seen this before. That negative is really a negative 1, that coefficient. So our slope here is a negative 1, not a negative x. So many students, I'll see, will write that. Don't do that. It's just m equals a negative 1. That's a coefficient in front of x, and that is our final answer. 3x plus 20 is equal to a negative 4y. Well, we want to isolate y by itself. So it's pretty much almost there, actually. We can see that. If I divide by negative 4 to, all, to both sides, right? So y is isolated on the right, and it's OK. We divide by negative 4 to both sides, right? Divide by negative 4 to both sides, I need to distribute to both parts here. So we have 3x divided by negative 4 is negative 3. Uh, fourths x, and then 20 divided by negative 4 is a negative 5. So now we have negative 3 fourths x minus 5 equals y. Hopefully, if you're good at this, you can see that the m value is negative 3 fourths. But if you need to see y written first, we can just flip everything at this point, and we have y equals a negative 3 fourths x minus 5. So we kind of flip everything, and now we can more easily see that's in slope intercept form. y equals mx plus b m is isolated as a coefficient in front of x, so we have m equals a negative 3 fourths right there, and that is our final answer. Negative 15 minus x is equal to negative 5y, okay? Well, I first want to isolate my y, so to do that I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5, and I'm going to make sure I distribute it to all parts. So negative 15 divided by negative 5 is a positive 3, and negative x divided by negative 5 is a positive 1 fifth x. Then here we have y isolated. Okay? So now we have our 3 plus 1 fifth x equals y. Now, it might be a little hard to see, right? See on um, slope intercept form. So I'm going to rearrange it to have y come first. So y equals 3 plus 1 fifth x. And our, our coefficient in front of x is our slope. It's not really exactly mx plus b. But if you want, we can rearrange it. So um, right now it looks like y equals b plus mx. But I can rearrange it, saying y equals 1 fifth x plus uh, 3. I'll just throw a b there, or 5 actually, but plus 3. So y equals 1 fifth x plus 3 there. Our slope is the coefficient in front of x. A little easier to see now. Right there, our m value. So we have m equals a positive 1 fifth. And that is our final answer. Negative 1 equals negative 2x plus y. Well, I need to isolate my y. So to do that, I'm going to add a 2x to both sides, get y by itself. So I add a 2x to both sides. And now I'm left with 2x minus 1 is equal to a positive y. 
Now, this is really our uh, slope intercept equals y formula, right? y is by itself, and hopefully you can see our slope is 2 at this point. If not, we're going to rearrange, have y written first, so y equals 2x minus 1, okay? So y equals 2x minus 1 here, and that's in our slope intercept form specifically. Our m value is our 2, that's a coefficient in front of x, and so I can rewrite this to be m equals 2, and that is isolated on our final answer in slope of 2. x minus 1 is equal to y. Well, luckily for me, y is already isolated in this equation. So I can rearrange it, have y come first. It might be a little easier to see. So we have y equals a negative x minus 1. So now I have y isolated, and this is actually in our slope intercept form. It's our y equals mx plus b. Our slope is a coefficient for x, which you can see is just that negative 1, right? There's a negative out there, and it's just 1x, so it's negative 1. And so my slope here is just a negative 1. That's it. That's all you wrote, folks. Equation. 0 equals 5y minus x. Okay? Well, if I want to um, find the slope here, I need to get y by itself. So let's go add an x to both sides. Well, 0 plus x, which is 0. Or oh, sorry, <laughs> not just 0, just x. Oh my goodness. x equals, and we're left with the 5y here. So to get y by itself again, I'm going to divide by 5 both sides, and that leaves me with, well, x divided by 5 is really 1 fifth x. That's equal to my y. Let's rearrange this, have y come first, so we have y equals a 1 fifth x, and that is actually in our slope intercept form. y equals mx plus b, b being 0 over there, okay? So our m values are 1 fifth, it's a coefficient in front of x, so m equals a positive 1 fifth, and there we have it. And that is our final answer in slope. Negative 30 plus 10y is equal to a negative 2x. Okay? Well, I want to get y isolated by itself. So to do that, I have to add a 30 to both sides. Negative 2x and 30 are not like terms. So I can't combine them. So I have negative 2x plus 30 on the right and just my 10y on the left. I then have to divide by 10 to both sides to keep uh, on this goal of getting y by itself, which it is now. And so now I have uh, divided both sides by 10. Let's distribute the 10 to both parts here, the negative 2x and the 30. Well, negative 2x divided by 10 is a negative 1 fifth x, right? Excuse me, 2 divided by 10 is a fraction. It can be uh, 1 fifth, and there's a negative, and with the x right there. So we have negative 1 fifth x plus 30 divided by 10 is just 3. And so now we have our equation here of y equals a negative one-fifth x plus three. Our m value is negative one-fifth because this is in slope intercept form. y equals mx plus b. So our m value, which is isolated right here in front of the x, is a negative one-fifth. And there we have it, our final answer in slope. Math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com